allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I promise to do my best to treat everyone fairly. I promise to do my best to be kind to everyone, even though they're not like me if i see somebody someone being hurt or bullied i will tell a teacher everyone should be should be able to feel safe and happy in school i want our school to be no place for hate Did you know if you were to measure the width of a coin, you would not want to use meters? That's ridiculous. And centimeters are still a little bit too big. The best choice would be millimeters, especially for something that short. and accepting someone by who they are. Hey All-Stars, check out Jump Rope Club. Thursday mornings at 8.40 a.m., all students and staff welcome. And if you don't have a jump rope, no problem. We are so lucky at Hoffman Boston to have students from all over the world. And this month we're particularly celebrating students from Asia. And Asia has so many different countries with many different cultures. One in particular that we looked at with my second graders was Mongolia. I came across this Facebook post actually that shared something about Mongolian culture that comes from prehistory. So thousands of years ago, there were these things called deer stones that were created. And they're called deer stones. You can see the deer in the picture. They're called deer stones because they're tall rocks or megaliths that have flying deer carved on it. You can see them right there. And a megalith or a monolith is just a fancy word for a large stone. And these deer stones are an awesome example of cultural heritage. So special traditions that are passed on from generation to generation. And in a culture, we can have things like these deer stones that we can actually touch and see, right? These are tangible parts of our cultural heritage, but we can also have things like ideas and values that we pass on from generation to generation. So if we take a look at these deer stones, you see the deer carved in there you can also see some shapes and patterns that get repeated, like those circles that represent the deer taking a soul into the heavens. So these deer stones were used to mark the death of somebody important or somebody who wasn't able to be buried in that spot. 
And if you look closer and see an example of someone actually standing next to one, you can see how large these are. So I hope you think it's just as interesting as I do, and I'm hoping if any of our students from Asia have some amazing examples of art and culture, please share it with me through email, or you can share it with me on Canvas or Seesaw. But I would love to learn more. Thank you. K is for kindness is brought to you by all your specials teachers. Think about what acts of kindness make you feel loved and special. And what acts of kindness can you do for others? Make a plan with your class or your friends or family to do an act of kindness today. Instead of random acts of kindness, think about purposeful acts of kindness, ones that you can do one time or again and again to make our community a better place. Out, all stars, peace, artists, musicians, engineers, all, all stars, peace out.